So today I'm talking about the GE toaster. Now this is a double slice. Um, I did have one that had four, but unfortunately it went bye-bye. So this one has, this has uh, a stainless steel brushed finish to it. And it's really nice. Uh, it actually works great on my counter with my other appliances. And as you can see, this has a button for a bagel and for a frozen and a cancel button. Now the cancel button is great because when you're toasting something, you know, I think we all like to look in the toaster to see what's happening. So when I look in there and I saw it's getting a little bit dark, then I decide to push the cancel button and it pops right up. And that's a great feature because you don't want to be sticking anything in the toaster. Disclaimer, don't stick anything in the toaster. Again, it has a great finish to it. It's very got a very sleek design. It's beautiful. It fits great with my other appliances. And I've made a toast in it. And also with the videos next to me, you can see that I have made um, different types, of course. Um, now, so it has this little dial here on the bottom and it goes from one to seven. Now, one of my toasts I did was on a three, which was perfect. Now I did do it on a five, which almost burnt the toast. So I wouldn't recommend going above that unless you would like really burnt toast. And this is just a really great unit. I really love it. I think it's um, gonna be with me for a long time. The other one broke down prematurely, but it's a great little toaster. It's um, no reflection, which is great. So, but one thing, like I said, we all like to kind of look inside the toaster and see what's happening here. Um, but so far I've been using it for about a week and it's great. So I couldn't, re couldn't recommend it anymore. So if y'all get a chance, you want to take a look into it, I'm going to put a link underneath the video so you can take a look at it yourself and see what you think about this toaster. Let me know if you guys have one. I'll see you next time.